नमस्कार हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अपूर्वा सुनील ढगे अँड टुडे आय एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ व्हेरी डिफरंट टॉपिक विच माय टिकल युअर क्युरियोसिटी समथिंग दॅट यू हॅव नेवर हर्ड ऑफ ऑर समटाईम समटाईम यू माईट हॅव हर्ड ऑफ दिस सो द टॉपिक विच आय हॅव चोजन फॉर दिस व्हिडिओ इज मोडीपत्र ओके सो मोडीपत्र मोडी मीन्स बेंडेड लेटर्स इट इज नॉट द लेटर्स बाय आर प्राईम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी बट राधा मोडी इज अ स्क्रिप्ट विच वॉज यूज्ड इन द मिडिवल इंडिया वी कॅन फाईंड दिस पर्टिक्युलर स्क्रिप्ट इन महाराष्ट्र वी कॅन फाईंड द स्क्रिप्ट इन साऊथ इंडिया ॲज वेल सो लेट्स लुक ॲट वॉट मोडी पत्र और मोडी लेटर्स आर ॲज यू कॅन सी ऑन युअर स्क्रीन टू आयडेंटिफाय वॉट एक्झॅक्टली आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट यू हॅव टेकन टू सॅम्पल्स ऑफ रोमन लेटर्स on your right hand side there is a very simple letter written in english the handwriting is very simplistic it is very clear whereas on the left hand side you can find that the uh, the letters are written in cursive writing it is a bit difficult to understand the same goes with modi so the modi letters are written in a very cursive it is very cursive it is bended and what we can find is that the uh, script is known as modi whereas the language can be either uh, tamil it can be malayalam it can be our devanagari as well so let's look at the specimen of modi once again the actual specimen of modi okay so as you can see on your screen this is the historical letter modi patra okay so uh, which are the various elements that you can find in the modi letter let's look at it so one is on the top you can find the patra shirshak that is the heading of the modi it can be shri or it can be any symbol the second part that comes is the shikka that is the stamp so every modi patra which comes from the uh, any kings or queens uh, um, court it has a stamp on it to signify from where it exactly has come from the third element is the mina mina is a part or it is an element of the letter which talks about who has sent the letter to whom the next is the masuda masuda is nothing but your content of the letter so the letter can be of any given topic it can be either uh, of uh, say giving out lands or donation it can be relating to economy it can be relating to uh, administration it can be relating to any given uh, things that are necessary for the kingdom or dynasty and the last one you can see uh, in the green is the shevat samaina that is the end of the letter so how do you recognize where the modi patra ends where the modi letter ends so in the end you can find a small sentence which denotes that this is the end of the letter and after that letter you won't find anything uh, uh, in the letter so this is the mina like i said that mina is the address as to whom it has been addressed to and who has written the letter so in english we have dear we have uh, respected the same way in modi patra we can find different uh, minas or different addresses that is you know uh, decorating a person's designation so the words that you would find is dandavata vidnyapana ashirvad gosavi tirtharup rajamanya rajeshri vajra chamundita gangajal nirmala charana raja and etc where exactly in which era we can find modi letters so we can find modi letters in bahamani era that is in the bahamani sultanate we can find in tanjavur that is tanjavuri patra that is in south india tamil nadu we can find modi letters in uh, during peshwa era as well we can find modi letters in uh, shivaji uh, chhatrapati shivaji maharaj era as well and lastly we can also find modi letters in british era the difference that you would find in each and every era is the language that they have used the jargon that they have used and also uh, the handwriting the difference in the handwriting as well 
here are the various specimens of modi letters as you can see the uh, writing is very uh, it's my it is elaborate but uh, it is very difficult to read so you have to concentrate a lot while reading such letters it all differs from writer to writer scribber to scribber how he is writing what sort of ink he is using or what sort of uh, uh, tools he is using to write and also the uh, quality or the texture of the paper matters this is the another specimen of modi letter as you can see at the end this is, it it says that it is the this is the end of the letter there is nothing further written this is also once more some of the letters are very elaborate some of the letters are very cursive some of the letters are very decorative as you can see here is another specimen in each and every letter you would find the difference in the handwriting some are very readable some are very clear and some they are not clear and some are not very readable as well here as well you have two stamps on this letter let's look at one of the sample of uh, modi letter let's check out who has written the letter to whom okay so let's read from starting in the first it is it has been written nakala some of the letters some of the alphabets are very similar to our devanagari okay so you can find our devanagari swa so swasti swasti shri rajya bishek shaka then shake you have uh, then uh, ek chaish then sharvari nama samvatchare bhadrapada then you have bahula then dasami bhrugu va sa re kshatriye kulavatansa shri raja shimbu chhatrapati swami so in this letter you have found a name and that is of raja shimbu chhatrapati okay yani ved shastra sampanne rajashri deva pant we have also found another name that is rajashri deva pant kavindra bina okay so this is the whole name of the person so we have found two names that is raja shembu chatrapati he has written the letter to rajashri deva pant kavindra bin okay so the things that you have studied from this video are firstly you have known what exactly modi script is all about and yes there are modi patra in the modi script also the thing that you have learned from this video is that where exactly you would find a uh, modi patra you would find not only just in maharashtra but in south india as well you would find modi patra relating to different uh, topics uh, that is administration you would find uh, topics relating to finance you would find topics relating to um, about donation land donation land revenue as well so these are the various things that you would uh, get to know or get to learn or identify from the modi patra i hope you have enjoyed my video um do subscribe do like and share this video thank you so much